Good day, good people. In this tutorial, you will learn what PHP 7 interfaces are. It's a very useful tool that you will have to implement in your object-oriented programming and which will solve several multiple inheritance problems that you might have already faced in your coding career. Let's get started. First things first, what is an interface? An interface is like a contract. So the guy writing the interface says, hey, I accept things looking that way. Your classes should have this and that. And the guy using the interface says, okay, the class I, will, I write will look that way. An interface, you must imagine, is like an empty shell. It can't do anything. It's just a pattern. It's just a blueprint for the classes that use the interface. That's important to know. Why does it exist? Well, interfaces, as you will see, contributes to code organization and they commit the child classes to methods that they should implement. We will see that in practice in just a minute. It will be much more clearer then. And when we work in a team of programmers, for example, and want to ensure that all the programmers write the methods that they should, then we use interfaces as well. And benefits are that a class can inherit from multiple interfaces because a class can only extend one other class but it can in uh, it can implement multiple interfaces and interfaces can implement each other if that's what you want to do and the benefit that i like very much is that an interface allows unrelated classes to implement the same set of methods regardless of their positions in the class inheritance hierarchy. So if you have two classes and one extends the other, you can still have both of them implement the same interface. And we will see that in just a minute. Okay, enough talk. Let's code. These are the interfaces. That's the localhost. And that is the code, but we are not going to use that one. The, oh, I'm sorry. There was just something that I tried before. All right, I hope this is large enough for you to see. Let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna create an interface. And for this example, let's use something like a user management system. So for example, let's go ahead and make our first interface. For that, you use the interface keyword and then we give it a name just like we would do with a class and in this case we would just call it user this is the interface user these are the curly brackets and that's your first interface now in this interface you have to put methods what is important is you can't put properties in here you can put constants but not properties okay um, for the sake of arguments and this example we will just use methods. By the way, unlike in classes where you can put private and protected and stuff, you can't do that here because the only reason for interface to exist is that the properties in it are visible. So by default, they will all be public or <laughs> if you don't declare them public, it will throw an error obviously because, well, why would you use private prop, uh, private methods in an interface if the only reason is for classes to use them, all right? So we have public functions and the first one might be set name. This is where you set a name and here the parameter that's being passed is name. And that's all there is. You don't even put the curly brackets behind here. You just put the semicolon and that's it, okay? You don't even tell the methods what they do. That's the thing. This line here is only saying if you implement this interface, you have to have a public function. You have to have a function called setName, which takes a parameter name. That's all there is. Now, what it does is up to you. Obviously, in this case, we kind of put a hint here that it should set a name. But otherwise, the specifics are up to you. You will see in a minute what this can do for you. Next thing is we take a public function and we call this 
um, get name, for example. Here we go. That's your interface. Done. Now, right here, so no output, all good. And the next thing you want to do is to make a class. For example, the class login. This might be a class uh, where you create some kind of login system and you want to have this user interface. And this is how you would do it. The keyword is implements user in this case, okay? It implements and then the name of the interface. Now what you want to do is you have to have both these methods. And again, what they do is up to you. So we're just going to go ahead and copy these right here. But now, obviously, you will need the curly brackets and the body of these methods. Here we go, like so. Remember that the first curly bracket for classes and functions goes on the next line. This is um, the PHP coding standard and it adds a lot of value to the readability of your code. So um, get used to it, okay? So, so for classes and functions, the opening curly bracket goes must go on the next line. And well, now it's up to us what this function does. Well, obviously, in this case, we would have a, uh, a property name, or you know what? Um, let's let's go ahead and sorry and make this a local property. For example, yeah, why not? We call it name two or username. In camel case. And then we, oh, uh, then we, ins uh, then we put this value that gets input to it, and we say this user name gets set to name, and in this function, in the next one we echo it out, and that's all it does. All right, so echo this username here we go let me check no errors let me double check with the PHP tester no problems here all right by the way this is a very good site called phptester.net where you can uh, retest your code again if it uh, fits the if it throws any errors, all right? I, I like to do this for testing because sometimes the local host uh, has some issues in reporting the, the errors properly. Uh, maybe due so to, to some setting in the PHP uh, INI. But nevertheless, um, that's a good tool here, all right? So now what you could do is you could, um, well, instantiate this class, for example, and create a user or a, for this Thing. Obviously, you would have some more code in here, but um, for now, let's just start with that. And now let's instantiate this just to check if it works. For example, we have fill is a new login, and then we call the method set name, and we pass a parameter. fail and that is it and if we refresh here we don't get any output obviously because we have to call it to and this is how you would do it uh, but of course it is not set name this one is called get name and now we refresh and you get fill perfect so this worked now what happens if we do not implement one of these methods in here. Let's check in the PHP tester, for example, now I just erased the public function get name and I check the code and it gives me a fatal error, saying the class login contains one abstract method and must therefore be declared abstract or implement the remaining methods get name. All right, so it tells me here, well, either that or you implement the remaining methods. Well, the remaining method here is obviously the 
one we just erased. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create another interface. For example, interface uh, password. And this interface path password has a public function like set password. Here we go. And now if you want to go ahead and implement this interface too, well, the only thing that you have to do is you set a comma, where are we? A comma, user and password. That's it. That's all you got to do to implement the other things, uh, the other interface here. And um, well, you can give anything that you want to this public function set password. For example, you could go ahead and make up here, we make a, sorry, where am I? Here we go. Yeah, you can make a private property called password. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're not in law here. We got to put a dollar, obviously. And then you go ahead and you say this. Uh, pa password? No, I'm sorry. Just PW. This password equals and let's let's just go ahead and say one two three four and echo that out this is obviously not how you would do this but it's just to show you that you have to put all the methods in here if you implement several interfaces first of all and that they just work over the same object, obviously. And obviously this object now has access to this property, which is called set password. Here we go, semicolon, and we got the password, okay? All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions, just put them in the comments below. And um, just a little recapture is, I hope you saw that Interfaces are handy blueprints for classes. Interfaces solve the problem of multiple inheritance because a class can only extend another class but implement multiple interfaces. And also they are very flexible and help you when you have several people working on your code. And they help you arrange your code in a very obvious way. If you have any further questions, just let me know and I see you in the next tutorial.